Welcome to a new series on the channel where I'm going to be covering each of the 2024 presidential candidates, Republican, Democrat, third party. Well, I'm not going to get all of them, but I'll try and cover as many as I can because most of them aren't even going to make it uh, to, I guess, the primaries, but a few of them will. And I'm just going to pick and choose which one I'd like to cover first. And uh, let me know below in the comment section uh, which candidates you're supporting right now and which candidate you think I should cover in uh, future episodes. So today we are going to talk about Asa Hutchinson. He is one of the presidential candidates running on the Republican ticket. If we go to the polls, he's not doing so well. He's at what, uh, like a seventh of a percent, like down here at the bottom. That's, that's where Asa Hutchinson is. So yeah, not doing so well compared to his other opponents as of today, which would be the last weekend of July, 2023. Christie, Scott Haley, Pence, Ramaswamy, DeSantis, Trump, all of them are ahead of Hutchinson, but I thought we'd start at the bottom and work our way up. So we're gonna go to the website for Asa Hutchinson, which is asa2024.com. By the way, I'm leaving the website's link below in the description section of each presidential candidate for you to click on and go do research yourself because you may or may not be interested in these candidates. I'm going to try to be as even Steven as possible and unbiased and simply go over the facts based off of what's on the website and the words that come out of these candidates mouth as well as their track record. Now here's the basics about Asa Hutchinson from his own words and his uh, Meet Asa section on his website. His campaign slogan is Asa for America. He is 72 years old. The question, why am I running? This is what he says. I care deeply about this country and it's on the wrong track under President Biden. Citing his experience, former head of the DA under George W. Bush, he later on would become the first undersecretary to the Department of Homeland Security, also under President George W. Bush. He wants to combat the fentanyl crisis. He was governor of Arkansas for eight years, 2015 to 2023. Before that, he served as a U.S. attorney for the Western District of Arkansas, three terms in the U.S. House from 1996 through 2000. He's concerned about the nation's $32 trillion debt, pro-growth energy policy, challenging violence in our cities, competing with China, continuing to support the Ukraine war, along with uh, calling for Trump to end his presidential campaign. Asa is also pro-border security, in favor of a strong national defense, holding China accountable. He wants to have stabilization for the economy, continue to be a trade partner with China, but China needs to answer tough questions surrounding COVID-19, and he's prepared to ask these tough questions and hold China accountable. In regards to Russia, it's a threat to national security, a threat that must be taken seriously. As Undersecretary of the Department of Homeland Security, he had first-hand experience in dealing with world leaders to keep America safe. So he's one of the GOP candidates that's not in Putin's pocket, or at least friendly towards Russia and Putin. He has openly been in favor of Ukraine during the Ukraine-Russian war over the past year. Criminal justice system. In our democracy, the rule of law is foundational. Law undergirds democracy. Law is applied equally with restraint and for the greater good. We must keep violent offenders off the streets, behind bars, but we must also address unfairness and sentencing. We can and should do both. And we make America a safer nation by providing our men and women in blue with the resources they need to enforce our laws and protect our families. Taxes. Every American feels the strain of overburdensome tax code. We must reform our tax code nationally and lower taxes, just as I did in Arkansas. We need more money in the pockets of hardworking Americans and not in the coffers of bureaucratic and un unaccountable Washington, D.C. Building America in regards to the infrastructure, Highways, roads, bridges across the country are in desperate need of repair. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? And he's also in favor of trying to get access to high-speed broadband for all Americans. Supporting critical infrastructure can be accomplished without abandoning our responsibility to the American taxpayers. Healthcare. Federal government should never be the sole provider of healthcare for Americans. If that happens, quality of the care declines. 
We must instead return to the power of consumer choice. These are virtues that improve quality, lower costs. States must also be given freedom and flexibility to innovate in order to meet the unique challenges at home. Solving the problem will require leadership that places public interest ahead of our current political divide. Religious liberty. Our nation's founders understood rights are not given by man, but rather bestowed upon us by our creator. Worldwide view foundational to good governance and success of the United States of America. So I guess this implies that Asa Hutchinson is religious. I was trying to find out what religion he believes, but I have to ask the question when it comes to this particular topic. Do you believe in the religious liberty of all Americans? Doesn't matter if you're what Christian, Jewish, Muslim, atheist, agnostic, Hindu, etc. Hopefully that's what he means by religious liberty because we have people that believe in a lot of different things in the United States and then there's plenty that don't believe in anything. But really quick, going back to his stance on healthcare, I did find something interesting when I was looking for his beliefs. He did sign a near total abortion ban back in 2021 while he was still governor of Arkansas, including exception for the life of the mother. Hutchinson said at the time that he would have preferred the ban to also include exceptions for rape and incest. Well, maybe you should have included that in the uh, bill that you signed if you were in favor of having exceptions like for example, rape and incest. Unity, the success of any democracy is dependent upon agreement on set of values. For America, we're all in this great land because of our ancestors left other shores in search of freedom and greater opportunity. Freedoms that unite us are enshrined in our Bill of Rights and our Constitution, which limits the power and role of government, therefore prescribing how different parts of government act in restraint against the cumulative power of the whole of the government. Today we have a nation divided and we must return to what brings us together and not what pulls us apart. That is why it's so important that we seek out leaders that bring out the best in America rather than those that give our worst instincts. I believe that we must respect dissent and stand together on the common ground of freedom, equality, and fairness. And finally, Asa Hutchinson's stance when it comes to American energy. Energy independence? Nations blessed with tremendous energy potential. Leaders in Washington, D.C. should implement policies and unleash it. Unfortunately, the Biden-Harris administration has done the opposite by imposing a federal ban on oil and gas leases. Americans deserve plentiful, affordable energy options. We should not be beholden to the threats and whims of foreign adversaries for our energy needs. As president, I will pursue policies to make our great nation energy independent. So that's pretty much, uh, I guess you could say, the 411 about Asa Hutchinson, one of the many Republican candidates running for president, former governor of Arkansas, adding that to his, I guess, resume from being a U.S. attorney to a uh, representative to uh, head of the DEA, undersecretary of Department of Homeland Security, the first undersecretary of the DHS, by the way. And currently, once again, according to Real Clear Politics, not doing so well in the polling, but that could change depending on events that occur between now and the beginning of the primaries coming up in early 2024. But Hutchinson still sits at a seventh of a percent underneath Christie, Scott, Haley, Pence, Ramaswamy, DeSantis, and of course, Trump. Your thoughts, views, and opinions regarding Asa Hutchinson and what presidential candidate would you like for me to cover next? Feel free and let me know below in the comments section.